What do you think of when you think New York City? You probably think of tall buildings, honking cars, lots of traffic, suits yelling at cabs, hot dogs, heroes, bagels, pastrami on marble, and most of all, people. People moving, moving from one beat to the next, taking on the everyday in an extraordinary way. Wake up, turn off the alarm, shower, get dressed, quick fight, maybe a coffee, no, definitely a coffee. Catch the metro, one place to another, one place or the other, always at the speed of the city. It's a New York state of grind. And it's true, New York City isn't for the faint of heart, but for those of us who call it home, we wouldn't have it any other way. But it doesn't take a homegrown New Yorker, someone who has the pulse of the city coursing through their veins from the moment they were born, to know that this place is special, to know that everyday history not only has a chance of occurring, it's guaranteed. And that's where this story begins, a guarantee, a pledge, a promise. A promise made between Sally and Marie Scholar. Their story together began one fateful day over 76 years ago, right here in New York City. On that momentous day, Sally was enjoying her lunch at Brooklyn's Lincoln High School when a teacher, who thought Sally was being too loud, moved her to the track team table. There, Maurice introduced himself and welcomed Sally to sit next to him. The teacher moved an entire table of girls to sit at the table next to where I was sitting. There was no room left at that table. I put my arm around her waist and I put her down on the seat next to me. That weekend, they went on their first date, a movie and a stroll on the iconic Coney Island boardwalk for a dinner of Nathan's famous hot dogs and french fries. They've been inseparable ever since. They began life as husband and wife on October 20th, 1945 at a small ceremony in Brooklyn. We got married because I was in the army. I was stationed at Fort Dix and I would get weekend passes. So we decided to get married. Since Maurice was a medic and corporal in the U.S. Army on a weekend pass from Fort Dix, the newlyweds enjoyed a short but unforgettable honeymoon at the historic Hotel Tudor now known as the Westgate New York City Grand Central. Probably was the most inexpensive one we could find. It was, $18.75 a night. For a young couple from Brighton Beach, staying at an elegant Manhattan hotel was a big deal. And it was how Sally and Maurice started building their own piece of New York City history. So, is New York City history? It's not just history, it's his story. It's her story, and it's ultimately our story. A story of love, a story 76 years in the making between Sally and Reese Goller. An origin story, care of New York City. So is New York City history? You'd better believe it. Today, tomorrow, and for all time, guaranteed. This story is one of many. The only question is, where do you come in?